Hello! This video tutorial shows you how to build and manage Dynamic Dialog in WISE. Dynamic Dialog is a lightweight and efficient method for building and managing dynamic audio in WISE. This system is particularly useful when the audio is driven by a series of specific variables and outcomes that exist at any given moment in your game. This works really well for real-time strategy games where a lot of one-shot phrases can be triggered based on the specific scenario in-game. The dynamic dialogue system uses a decision tree mechanism to determine which piece of dialogue to play at any particular moment in-game. The decision tree is made up of three components. Dialogue events, arguments, and argument values. When a dialog event is called, WISE uses the decision tree to determine which piece of dialog to play. Let's look more closely at each component within the tree. The first component is the argument, which is a type of game sync that was created specifically for the dynamic dialog system. Arguments help you break down and categorize the different pieces of dialog within your game. In our example, we've created arguments for unit, objective, and objective status. Each argument then contains a series of argument values that define the different outcomes or conditions for that argument. In our objective status argument, for example, we have the argument values completed and failed. These arguments and argument values are added to dialogue events, which are then combined to create paths which recreate the conditions or outcomes in your game. Voice assets are then assigned to these paths. As the game is played, it looks for the argument path that matches the current situation in-game and then plays the corresponding voice object. Now that you're familiar with the basic components of the dynamic dialogue system, let's look at how you create them in WISE. Let's assume that we are creating this dialogue for an urban driving combat game. At the beginning of the development cycle, you must first decide what arguments and argument values you will need for your game. Once this is decided, you can begin creating them. In the Project Explorer, switch to the Game Syncs tab. Notice that we already have a number of arguments already created. For example, we have one argument called Unit that contains the argument values Unit A and Unit B and another argument called Objective that contains the argument values Diffuse Bomb, Neutralize Hostile, and Rescue Hostage. In order to complete our sentence, we need to create a final argument called Objective Status. In our game, the two units can either succeed or fail at their objectives, so the argument needs two argument values, Completed and Failed. Now that all the arguments and argument values are created for our project, we can start creating our dialogue event. From the Layouts menu, select the Dynamic Dialogue Layout and then switch to the Events tab to create a new dialogue event called Objective Status. In this dialogue event, we will create the different outcomes related to the success or failure of each unit's objectives and will associate a piece of dialogue to each of these outcomes. For example, different pieces of dialogue will play when Unit A successfully defuses the bomb or when Unit B fails to rescue the hostage. Let's double-click the new dialogue event to open it in the Dialogue Event Editor. It's within this editor where you will create the different outcomes and associate each one with a voice object. Let's now switch back to the Game Syncs tab and drag the unit, objective, and objective status arguments into the dialog editor. The arguments and corresponding argument values are displayed. From here, you can create the different paths and associate each one with a particular voice object. The first path we want to create will cover the situation when Unit A successfully defuses the bomb. To create this path, just click the Unit A, Diffuse Bomb, and Completed Argument Values, and then click Add Argument Path. The new path is added to the Argument Path list. 
By default, a new path is not associated with any object, but you can click the Browse button to select the appropriate voice object or container from the list. You can also drag an object directly from the Project Explorer to associate it with a path. Let's listen to the voice object that we associated with this argument path. The bomb is under control. To help speed things up, you can select all but one of your argument values and then drag the associated voice object to the last argument value. This creates the path and automatically associates the selected voice object to it. Because some games contain so many variables, it is likely that not all possible paths have a corresponding line of dialogue. This might be a simple question of production budget constraints or because new outcomes have been added to the game after the dialogue was recorded. In these cases, you can take advantage of the dialogue event fallback mechanism. Fallback paths can be created and then associated with more general pieces of dialogue that cover all situations for a given argument. For the script writer, it is a good practice to write the fallback path dialogue first before creating dialogue for each specific outcome. This can be a big help if you don't have time to create specific paths for each one. Let's create a fallback path for Unit A where the objective is unknown. When creating fallback paths, you select the argument instead of the argument value. These types of paths are then associated with a more general piece of dialogue. Let's listen to the piece of dialogue for this fallback path. We finished our work here. Job's done. Mission accomplished. Nice job, everyone. Notice how this piece of dialogue could be used for the completion of any objective. This makes it particularly useful when game designers add new conditions or situations at the end of the development cycle. If a new objective was added in our example, it would automatically be covered by the fallback path. Once all the paths are created and they are associated with an appropriate voice object, you are done. Dialogue events are generally comprised of a few words or short phrases. If you need to manage more sophisticated conversations or the play-by-play -play commentary of a sports game, you will need to use the Dialogue Event API to dynamically stitch together the audio files triggered by a series of Dialogue Events to create sentences. This API allows you to Create and manage a list of queued dynamic Dialogue Events Stitch events together with sample accuracy Or specify a delay time between Dialogue Events Although play-by-play -play commentary is a natural fit for this feature set, the Dialogue Event API can also be used to limit the number of concurrent streams by ensuring that voice chatter never overlaps. That's it! You now know how to create Dialogue Events in WISE. For further information about arguments and Dialogue Events, refer to the Managing Dynamic Dialogue section of the Help. For information on integrating these Dialogue Events into your game, Refer to the Dynamic Dialogue section of the WISE SDK.